So the exciting part, the decoration. Some of you will have covered yours in paper, which is fine. And you'll need to begin by painting. This is poster paints. And the reason we covered it in paper is it doesn't really go on to um, glossy cardboard, like cardboard that's got things printed on like cereal packets. It works fine on um, things like egg boxes or um, toilet roll tubes, that sort of thing. Look, my cat came in for a visit there, didn't realise. Very cheeky. But you want bright colours. Let's think about those artists like Hundavasa, bright, bright colours. And we looked at Anna Serrano, again, beautiful, bright, clashy colours. And on to Bette Marquez. And there's hers with yellows and blues. So just get lots of lovely colour on if you're painting. If you're not painting, you still need to get colour on. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. So don't worry if you're not doing the painting. That's absolutely fine. There's just different ways of doing it. Here's one of my other sculptures, one of my other buildings. And I'm going to show you how we cover it. We cover it using paper. I've got lots of nice bright colours, scraps of paper for you and tissue paper. I've got things like cellophane, which is plastic. That's great on the plastic bottles. And then we've got things like sweetie wrappers that will look good stuck on and ribbons and different coloured tapes and marker pens, permanent markers. Those look great. We'll need to draw windows and things on. And then we have all the little tiny bits and pieces that we can put on at the end for bits of detail. We can stick on with glue, little lids and caps and things like that at the end. But first of all, we need to get the background colours on, those strong colours. And we're going to do that using maybe things like sticky back plastic. Sticky back plastic is a bit like the double sided tape where you peel off the back and stick it down. That's a really useful thing to, for us to use. So you could cover in sticky back plastic or you could cover in paper, nice colour papers, which you cut down to size. And then you just use a bit of the old double sided tape, stick that on. You can use glue if you want, but double sided tape is nice and quick, isn't it? Do you remember? So we cover all our sides with paper and it gives a nice strong colour and that's our starting point because then we'll be able to add all our details on top of that. Things like we'll be able to cut out doors and windows and we can draw those onto cardboard or sticky back plastic and then we can stick those on as well. And more detail, so I'm using those permanent markers there. And I found a sort of pattern on this bottle, which I decided to follow because it's a nice swirly shape. And uh, that was really good fun using those marker pens. So you can draw on cardboard with the markers, but it looks really good on the plastic, the clear plastic bottles and things. And you can draw over sellotape with uh, the permanent marker, whereas you can't really do that with... Uh, um, normal pens and things so that's very useful I'm using a bit of tape here nice color tape and using that tape as well to make windows or you could make that out of cardboard again using my pen oh I'm making a nice dome now out of this plastic cup and uh, I thought I'd match up the colors I used on the other bit it doesn't quite feel right uh, I think I want a bit of foil yes I'll finish that bit with foil and I'll put some foil inside the cup as well and then I want to get some nice windows and I think I'll get a pattern on the roof. Lots of glue now to do that last dome and there we go. My first finished building. So remember this one was without any paint at all. So if you've not painted it, it doesn't matter. You can really get some good colour on. It's up to you how you do it. So let's have a look at me decorating a painted one. So I'm starting off with a dome here again. This is a lid off of a squirty cream container. Oh, I'm making some little balls. Now what I did for those was I screwed up some tin foil and then wrapped them in a sweetie wrapper to get them all lovely colours. I'm cutting out windows and did a door and things. That's great fun. Sometimes using the paint makes it harder because you have to wait for it to dry. Um, there we are using lots of glue, finishing bits off, putting a little uh, balcony on my tower with another dome on. There we go, wrapped up the foil and then covered in the sweetie wrapper and glued it on. Nice strong glue at the end. So there we go, my second building and this is one that I painted. 
And here is the last building I made and I used lots of lovely materials. I made a dome there. I made a Hundavasa lollipop style tree there. That was good fun. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what you do. And we're going to put them all together to make one giant imaginary city. Now, you don't need to rush because you're going to finish this off in your next lesson. Have fun, everyone.